In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can mint a non-fungible token, also known as an NFT, within Ghost Market, which is part of the Phantasma blockchain. Now, Phantasma is powered by the Soul token, and now Soul is on three different blockchains. It initially started on the Neo blockchain as an NEP5 token, then it migrated over to Phantasma chain, which is the official Phantasmas blockchain, and now it's also as an ERC20 token on Ethereum. But as you know, Ethereum's fees are absolutely insane at the moment, so hence why it's recommended to use Phantasma chain directly when you perform any kind of transactions if possible. And again, this isn't financial advice or anything, it's just for educational purposes to show you how you can mint a non-fungible token. Now, one of the things you need uh, as part of the Phantasma blockchain and in order to mint these non-fungible tokens is the Phantasma Energy, which is a fuel token. And we're gonna take a look at that now. So in order to generate Phantasma Energy, also known as KCAL, this is the ticker symbol, which apparently can only be gotten on Uniswap, but there is one other place that you can get it to avoid the insane fees from Ethereum at the moment. And that is from an over-the-counter trading group on Telegram. Again, the link will be found in the description of this video. Do check it out because that is the cheaper way to actually get a hold of KCAL. Now, you will need KCAL if you do decide to mint an NFT. As you can see, it's trading at 5.4 cents here. But again, I don't recommend using Uniswap just because the fees are absolutely insane. Even if you buy a big bag, you're still going to pay a lot for the fees. So it's better to just get it over the counter directly from the trading group. The people there are very friendly. They will be able to support you with the transfer and so on. And there's actually an escrow, a third party who's an admin uh, who's going to be managing the trade for you. So that's great. Now, why am I talking about this? Well, in order to generate Phantasma Energy, KCAL, you actually need to stake SOUL, which is the token that I've discussed earlier on, for 24 hours. So you basically send it to your wallet, hold it in your wallet and then decide to stake. There's a button to stake. You stake it and in 24 hours you start to generate KCAL. Then you can claim that KCAL and then you can use that to mint. Again, KCAL is not only used for minting, it's also used for buying from the marketplace. And we're going to be looking at that in a moment when, we, when we're going to talk about how to mint. So let's get straight into the minting here. So here we can see this is ghostmarket.io. This is how you actually mint. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have the wallet. Uh, I'm actually using a browser-based wallet, which is called Ecto Wallet. I'm connected to the Ecto Wallet, so it shows me here I am connected up on the top corner here. As you can see, the Phantasma Wallet is there. And you go to the Create NFT section here. So once you do that, you'll see exactly this page that I've got here. Now, it's actually my cousin's birthday, so I've decided to make her a little praise, present or a surprise, I should say that. Um, it's basically to create a, a digital art of something that she has drawn on a piece of paper. So I basically asked her to send me this. She didn't know what it's for, right? So I'm gonna surprise her. She's gonna find this as a surprise, of course, when she watches this video. So basically uh, what I'm doing is I'm uploading the photo that she sent me. This is her drawing in order to create a non-fungible token for her so that she can, she can actually own the art, right? It's now on the blockchain. So how awesome is that? Like technology has evolved so much, it's exciting, right? Now digital artists can, of course, be rewarded for their work. So she's great at drawing. She's actually a developer, but she's great at drawing, right? But she, she didn't actually decide to move towards that direction in life as in to become a digital artist. So she does that as a hobby. So now imagine like she could actually get paid for this hobby by simply drawing really cool design artwork as you can see here like we've got this girl here waiting for the present. At least that's how we think she does, right? So I've named it waiting for the present. And again, you need to give this a description here. So once you upload it, you choose Ghost Market, you give it the name, you give it the description. And again, the description, if you are getting, for example, uh, I don't know, maybe your favorite character from a Japanese anime or from a game, you need to always specify the source uh, because, you know, it's not your artwork, right, at the end of the day. And again, this is not my artwork, so I'm specifying the source. Now, she is on Pinterest. And I am specifying that this is her username. You know, it's only nice. I don't have to because she's my cousin, but you know, I'm doing it just to, to show how you should actually do this and how you should follow this if you were to copy the artwork from somewhere, be it from a game, be it from your favorite anime, be it from your favorite cartoon. Now, the next thing you need to do here is you need to specify the type. So again, you can choose different types here. We've got generic art, music, game, NSFW, and books. So I've decided to choose art for this. Now with royalties, what you can actually do here is you can specify what is the percentage of interest that you want to get 
when somebody decides to sell this NFT. So me as the creator, I am the owner of this, but then I can send this to somebody else. However, because I am the owner, what basically happens is when this gets sold, because it's tracked back all the way to me, I get a certain percentage every time that somebody sells this token right however i have set this to zero when i created it i have minted this already this is just to show you how it looks because i didn't want to wait, make you wait for the transaction not that the transaction takes long but we found a little bit of a glitch when loading up the marketplace so i thought it's better if i do everything in advance just to have the nft ready and to show exactly how it looks so again you can set this to zero percent if you don't want to receive any commission whatsoever when people are sending or are selling it so you can see here this is defined as a percentage this is the commission that you learn each time your nft is sold now you can set the quantity here how many do you want to mint and the max supply and of course once you are creating this for the first time you have the timestamp so you are the original artist i am the original artist i've already minted this and I've set a max supply of five. I've also set the quantity of five. So she can decide to sell this if she wants on the marketplace or she can transfer this to her friends or her family. So how awesome is that? Again, she can set the attribute here as well if you want to. Um, you can set this to, for example, an artist name or something else. This is more useful for uh, games, right? For games, you could have like a tag, uh, you know, different, different kind of information, right? But again, that would probably be on the image itself rather than in the attribute but that's just an option now you can choose to infuse this asset so you can opt in to infuse your nfts with regular assets which can be redeemed when burning those nfts so not all not all ghost nfts are infused by default with one um, sorry note all ghost nfts are infused by default with one kcal unless you infuse anything yourself so what this basically means and this is actually useful for games like say for example you've got a car and you want to destroy that car that means that when you when the person destroys that card they're going to get a part if you decide to infuse it with a specific part so anything you infuse it with that's how much it's going to be worth again you can actually infuse this with a lot of kcal so that means that if somebody wants to sell that car that item whatever it is then they're going to get that much kcal so the creator decides at creation time so how awesome have they made it here absolutely amazing right and there's the marketplace listing as well so you can opt in to list this on the marketplace directly for example you can choose mint and sell so then what's going to happen is this is going to go directly to the marketplace it's going to get listed for the amount you wanted to list for so you can choose between soul kcal goti uh, you can choose the mankini token neo <laughs> gas ethereum as well right again neo is not available yet because they're working on that but it will be so uh, the locked content now if you decide to make this private right let's say for example you can opt in to have locked content this is a url which will only be accessible by the current nft owner okay so again i have not made it private when i created and then you just click confirm mint it basically tells you here what the summary is again 36 kcal you actually pay 20 kcal for one nft so if you only decide to do one to create one you pay 20 kcal plus the network fees which are as well 0.09 kcal as you can see here but because i've decided to create five i'm paying an additional four kcal for each additional nft so in total it was 36 kcal as you can see here now the cool thing is that the kcal does get burned as well to reduce supply 50 percent of all ghost market fees are burned instantly in the mint transaction as you can see here so that's all you have to do and then you just wait for that now after that you go to the browser extension you go to the ecto wallet and here I've got my Ecto wallet. I can see what I've got here. I've got some Sol, I've got some Kcal. I've got some NFT already from a long time ago. And I've got five Ghost, which is the NFT that I've created. If we click on it and we go to view, we can see this is the NFT. And we can see that this has an infused asset by default to one Kcal. So if this person who I send it to decides to burn it, then they can get one Kcal, which is Phantasma Energy, of course. Now, how do you actually use the marketplace, right? We've got the all NFTs, we've got all these different things here. But if we go to my account here, to the account section on the top right hand corner, and we go to my NFTs on sale, let's see what happens. Now it does say that the address filter does not have any NFTs on sale, right? Again, there's the minted series, there's the activity, there's the wallets and so on. Now if we go to NFTs available, We've got five NFTs here, as you can see. So these are the ones that I've created. So let's say, for example, I wanted to sell one. I can choose it. It does tell me when it was minted. It does tell me who's the owner. So it is myself. One out of five have been minted. It's never been listed. If I decide to sell this NFT, I can do so by clicking sell NFT. And now I can choose how do I want to sell it. So 
sell one NFT for what? So here you can specify the currency. So let's say I want to sell it for 500k cal or sorry for 500 soul. I could do so or for 500k cal too. It's up to you. And then you just click on sell NFT. Uh, and then once you do that and it's basically going to generate the transaction, you're going to pay the fee, which is 0.09 and it's going to go into the marketplace. And, and if you go to the marketplace here, um, you can go to my NFTs on sale and then it's going to show it to you, but I'm not going to sell it because like I said, this is a present. I actually want to send them to her. I'm going to send her all five of them. So if we go to all NFTs here, now it's a bit slow to load at first, but now it seems to be faster. So here are all the different NFTs which we can filter. Okay, so let's say for example, we go to Ghost. These are all the ones created by artists themselves. Okay, these, these are all the NFTs and you can see they're selling them, right? 150 soul, 500 soul. Now some of these are created by them, right? And some of this artwork is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ghost Hunter, 0.1 ETH. So you can even sell for Ethereum, right? Like Ethereum and Soul works, but not NEO yet. NEO is still in development at the moment, but it is coming. It is coming, so that's awesome, right? This marketplace is awesome. Like people can choose from all this different artwork here. Like there's just so much of it. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. I mean, you could have a play around with this yourself as well. Uh, flick through the different options. Again, Neo is gonna be an option there too, but I don't wanna make this video too long. I hope that this was informative enough for you to understand. Uh, first of all, you need Ecto Wallet. Once you have that installed, you create an account, uh, a wallet, basically. You save your private key, uh, you write it down somewhere. And uh, once you do that, then you go to ghostmarket.io and uh, you uh, you basically um, get started here if you already have KCAL. But if you don't have KCAL, again, you need to actually go and get KCAL. How do you do that? You go to the Telegram group for now because on Uniswap, like I said, you're gonna pay a lot for the Ethereum fees, for the transaction fees. So it's better to just go to the Telegram channel OTC and uh, ask somebody if they want to sell you KCAL uh, for Sol maybe, or probably Sol, right? Because Sol is probably the easiest to, uh, to swap for because it's on the same blockchain. So yeah, do check the links in the description of this video. And uh, yeah, by the way, there is gonna be a big surprise coming up with Sol with Phantasma like absolutely humongous uh, because uh, one content creator who I know is going to create a video about Phantasma Chain. Uh, it could be tomorrow or it could be next week, we don't know yet, but um, this information has actually been leaked within the Phantasma community. So uh, once he talks about this, you know what's gonna happen. Not financial advice, but you know, uh, because he's such a large content creator, is it's I mean it's got over 500,000 subscribers on YouTube so of course when he talks about it you can imagine what's gonna happen to the price of soul right but uh, yeah absolutely hyped about that because they're gonna get the marketing that they deserve but anyway I'm ahead of the curve here by doing this tutorial uh, so hopefully you'll get a better understanding what this is about how to use it and so on so thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video take care bye bye